my biggest thing has always been empathetic um, and meeting the person or family where they're at. It's really, really hard, like Susie was mentioning earlier, to kind of like, this is what you should do. Like, this is, I'm right. Like, this is where you should be. And kind of taking a step back and realize that person or that family may not be ready for that yet but knowing that there are certain things they could do in the meantime. So kind of having some of those simplistic, you know, all right, so you may not be ready for applied behavior analysis and having behavior analysts in there, but what can they do in the meantime that's uh, positive or working towards that? Is there a training class uh, they could go to, a parent training class that's local? Um, is there a local resource they could reach out to a church or uh, peer support that might help them feel more engaged rather than going straight to the professional or therapeutic side of things? Like, what can you do? Also, to um, just knowing what I know, resources tend to be limited too. So even sometimes when uh, the family's not ready, we're not necessarily ready with the resources on the end to provide that service. So how do we help them through that? And realizing that they really need advocates and help along the way. And it's not just simply, oh, go, go see this person and it's going to be the answer to everything. It's a process and it may take years. So being there for that family and that individual is very important. 